a war machine! I am a war machine! The mystical world of Pokemon. That's not what this video was about. Just uh, thought I would showcase my studio that I finally finished building. So I'll perform a little bit of crazy cinematography for you guys so that I can showcase what uh, three or four days of work can do for a guy when you're dedicated and bored to do something. So I guess we'll start from left to right, like reading a book, which is over here. Uh, so you can see my shadow. This is my PlayStation 2 on top of my Bits box, or rather Bits chest. There's a Bits here. You have to forget the lighting. Uh, bits in there. Just bits everywhere. Uh, going next to the trash can. A, a window so that I can actually have light with. I know, I just flipped the camera. Anyway, TV for watching DVDs, which are over there. We'll get to that in a minute. On top of a miniature fridge, which will be incredibly useful when I'm in here forever. The only thing missing in this room right now is a fan. Uh, this is the uh, painting desk, which I have. It's a daylight bulb inside here, which I think I overpaid for. Like 20 bucks a piece. But I got one of those. These things are fully adjustable. They have a this right here. This is a mounting point, mounting point, mounting point, so I can actually adjust it anywhere that I want. I've got two of those. So the daylight bulb. So that uh you know, I can put videos here. I'm not gonna use this camera for painting tutorials because it sucks for that purpose, but this is Mounted on top of a TV tray, you can see the cords for the light down here. Uh, these are my works in progress. This is my Nid Army, which is uh, Termagants, Gargoyles, Trigon, Hormigants, Miscellaneous, stuff that just needs to be worked on over there. Same thing with this. Same thing with this. And these are my works. It's a... Uh, a lot of stuff. Not all my Tyranids are there, actually. I still have a lot of them packed away. Then, for something to pay attention to, from here all the way to here is all Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. I own every Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Then I've just got a collection of other movies. Uh, Dune, Batman, George Carlin collection, some World War II stuff I bought at CVS, and a pretty hefty variety of the Let's Paint DVDs by Christopher Davidson, also known as AG Productions. Uh, my wife designs the uh, cases for these, so I've got a... basically I have her portfolio in my studio. Speaking of my wife, these are her models. Limbs of War here. Some, uh, what are these things called? Fantasy Warriors? I don't know what company these are from, but uh, Blue Wolf. Railer Wolf, some more Flames of War stuff, Skaven from the Island of Blood, Blood Butters, Reaper Model, some Tyranids. If you haven't seen my wife, that's my wife in caricature. So, you know, I don't forget who I'm married to while I'm locked in here. 10 o'clock, so that I don't lose track of time. Moving over, this is the next shelf. Oh, sorry, I have uh, some posters from video games. This is the Just Cause 2 poster. Capital Wasteland map for Fallout 3. The complete Pokedex for Diamond and Pearl, which is 490 Pokemon, which is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, books of all varieties guitar books, cookbooks, bathroom books, black library books, photo albums from my honeymoon, and some stuff that didn't fit in the box. Uh, up here is my overstock. This is Orc Battle Set, Land Raider, Island of Blood. These are the ones the wolves came from. Oh, classic uh, Juggernaut of Corn. Uh, High Elf Commander guy, noble thing. 
This is an old company. I bought these from my independent real retailer around here, Eagle and Empire. Uh, Chariot. This is all orc stuff, orcs and hobgoblins. I got it for a pretty good price. I think 25 bucks for the whole lot. Uh, and they're they're decent quality. They're very old, like 1980. And you got my Flames of War stuff here. Uh, German and American, because my wife is American, or plays American. Uh, Serenade stuff. This right here, this box, is my Ford World stuff, which is a Squigoth and a uh, Orc War Boss on bike. And then blister packs of Flames of War stuff. <sighs> this houses our army, stuff that's already assembled. This here, uh, so I take this out so you can see what's in it. This is the steel case that you get with the GW paint set, which I bought a few years ago. But I just put all my blister packs and stuff in here. I ordered a lot of models from uh, Coleman here, not. So, this is that one. That one. I just like limited edition models. And I've got a thing for the chronoscope line. So, I've got a lot of that. This is a my wife's camera. It's just in here. And there is nothing in that little green chest there. Uh, it's organized as best I can by Roy G. B Biv, or red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Starting from the back here, working my way down. Uh, then black through white, flesh colors, metallics for silver, and uh, bronzes, foundation paints, washes. Uh, two pots of Reaper brush on primer, a pot of gloss varnish, uh, my Vallejo collection. I'm switching over from GW to Vallejo, so this is a small collection right now, but it will eventually be bigger. And I have the, the last foundation set from Games Workshop, and some mixing pots sitting up there. These two right here are actually the uh, yellows. From Girl Painting's uh, Imperial Fist tutorial, so I have pre-mixed yellows for Imperial Fists should I ever decide to paint them. So I was originally using them for the color scheme for my Tyranids, the carapace on them. Whew. By the way, there's no fan in here, so it's very hot. So the whole uh, heavy breathing business is because it's hot. Anyway, hot glue guns primarily used for terrain, but uh useful nonetheless. I got high temperature and low temperature. Uh, oh, haven't used the high temperature one yet. Paper clips. GW Flock from when I was still subject to uh, GW Propaganda. I don't really buy much from them anymore. Except for maybe their models. And only through discounts. Uh, foliage, Woodland Scenics. Christopher Davidson got me kind of sold on Woodland Scenic stuff. And I actually have a hobby store for model railroads nearby so I can get all my scenery stuff from them and I get all my model stuff from Eagle and Empire so I've got the best of both worlds and there's a GW not 10 miles from my house so uh, ballast you see Christopher Davidson talk about this a lot this is actually cinder colored I figured it didn't matter anything because uh, you paint over it anyway so the color is really unimportant these are for decals. I don't actually use decals, but if I ever do, I've got stuff to set it. Set it grass, PVA glue, more PVA glue. This came in the uh, GW paint set, scenic cement. Uh, I'll go over all that stuff later in detail. Plastic cement. Christopher Davidson suggests using the red one, but uh, I use the blue one and haven't had any problems with it. Super glue, a tin for my scenic cement here. Uh, filler, drywall pack compound, good for making bases and stuff. Uh, green stuff, don't buy the GW stuff, you get like nothing in there. Uh, poster tech for affixing to uh, temporary bases, drill bit, or er, pin vise, etc., etc., razor blades, files, snips, brush soap, uh, Windsor Newton brushes are in here, olive jar for my paint pot, or my water pot. A uh, couple primers, some testers, dull coat, uh, razor saw, electric toothbrush for if I'm stripping models, regular toothbrush for if I'm stripping models, and a vise. So, that's my studio, and uh, an old comfy chair. So, anyway, that's my studio. Uh, 
Thanks for watching.